Welcome back to Dirt to Daytona, folks. Today, we are going to be taking on New Hampshire International Speedway. I did just actually finish that race in the Modified Featherlight Series, and we dominated. <laughs> Ironically, you can't drive nearly as fast in the Truck Series, and, well, we don't have a top-notch truck, so we won't be dominating, but every single time, I've said... This is going to be the track that sucks for us. We do fairly well. Even at Kansas, we finish in 16th place. So that was interesting as well. My goal is 15th. That gets us every single sponsor. Other than that, I mean, I guess we'd accept an 18th position. That seems a lot more attainable. One way to find out, as usual, we got to get out there, do a little bit of practice, and we will see you right before qualifying. Well, I got the truck stable, and we are running about... Wow. Actually, we're running... No. Yeah. We are running in 30... Our best lap was a 30.2. So, that's pretty good, I guess. I mean, I mean, it's good, but I'm surprised we are... We could potentially beat some of the uh, double-digit trucks on this one. We'll find out. I felt like we were running really poorly, but... We were catching triple digit trucks, but it's not like we were blowing past them or anything. Okay, let's qualify. Qualifying lap is upon us. Let's go. I did loosen it up again just a little bit before qualifying, thinking that I could... Actually, I think it helped a little. On exit, we were getting tight. We couldn't finish the acceleration, so... Oof, that was very dangerous on that apron, but we ended we managed to pull it off and we should have a pretty decent lab here. Yeah, look at that. That's actually better than anything we did when we were... T wow. I'm loving it. Tenth place qualifying effort for us. I mean, I told you we did really good in the modified series, but that's with a maxo car. You know I would never ever change the difficulty. Every time I do well, I feel the need to repeat myself there. It would be no fun for me. I like the struggle. It's much, it's just much greater feeling for me to go through the struggle and come out on top eventually. Now, having said that, we still have to run a race and we can't maintain 30.2 laps every time. So we're going to let some trucks get past us early on. But our goal is to beat Jason Small at the current qualification standings so that we have the option or the, uh, the potential, I should say, of getting that top 15. Hello, I'm Alan Bestwick and welcome to Loudoun, New Hampshire. At a distance of just over a mile, this squared off oval has seen some fantastic finishes in its history. Over 100,000 people attend each race, coming from nearby Boston, Providence, and all of New England to see the action at New Hampshire International Speedway. Well, there it is. We didn't update this track. <coughs> um... I'm kind of coming up on it. I'm trying to put out an episode every day. And with Mother's Day weekend happening this weekend and some other things going on in my life that take precedence, we haven't been able to really keep up with that schedule, although you guys haven't missed a single race yet. Um, my goal is to have, you know, the rest of them out this week on time. And so here we are. Not, not updating any of the tracks until I can kind of catch up a bit. Anyway, though, blah, blah, blah. You love the racing? I'm going to give it to you. Can't believe they started me in first gear. Whoa. Can't believe we got this jump. Oh, a little loose, a little loose. It's all right. We're fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Yeah, that's what we want. Still there. Wow. You're three wide. We still have icy cold wheels, tires. The wheels should probably be warmer too, but it's the tires that matter. Whoa. They just break way harder in the corner than I do. Carlo. It's difficult for me to follow their, uh, what they All do clear. here. This is weird. Carlo. 
<coughs> we'll kind of have to let some stuff work its way out. Holy crap, Quapple. Yeah, like, I run faster than this in the corners. Maybe that's... Maybe I should be doing what they're doing. Preserve my tires that way, I'll tell you that. 39 laps left. Uh, yeah, it's a two-stop race, as per usual. We're sitting here in 14th. Battling out with Bill Lester. All right. Kind of got a little bit of a gap here. We got a little damage on the rear end too, which sucks because I don't know how that's going to affect us. Every little damage piece can affect you. I notice when it's the front end, the damage uh, really tightens up the truck. We seem to be okay here. That's just really minor damage on the back. <clears throat> and as you can tell, we're not losing the pack in front of us, and we are driving away from the pack behind us, so... Ooh, there we go. It was a good lap, but uh, we got these three guys to contend with where we actually have a shot to get in front of them. They can figure out their stuff. We're just following the pack and it's going really well. I'm just, I'm pretty shocked about it. We're going to, we're going to take the spot from small. We are. When we're going to the corner next time. We're taking the spot from small. Ah, I had to get on it a little too hard, so I didn't slide up the track on him. But we come off of this corner, and I don't think he has the juice to just drive away from us. That's awesome. Still there. You're all clear. That's some of those upgrades we just put on the truck. I did put another just the second level exhaust upgrade on after the last, after I raced New Hampshire and the modifieds. I made 50 grand. We had 71 grand. The upgrade was 59 grand, so I did it. And uh, obviously it's paid dividends because here we are in 13th place passing double digit trucks and driving away from some of the other ones. So that's huge. Now I'm going to tell you New Hampshire, as I said before in the modifieds, it's a good track to us. How's that going to translate out the rest of the race? I don't know, but I hope it works out like it is right now. I'd like to drive away from small a little bit. Um... You know, that's... That might be how we do it right there. I have been kind of going really easy on the tires since I... Well, no, because we... We got tight going off the corner that time. Drive it down and drive it off. Yeah, we're not getting the drive off. What's going on with that? Are, tires are... I mean, they're warm. But they aren't worn. They're just warm. They aren't even boiling hot, so that's weird. We're having a hard time getting it down on this yellow line and then holding it there. Maybe I was coming in at it from the wrong angle. This seemed to have worked a little better. I mean, I don't care that small is right behind us as long as we don't mess up. But, of course, if we mess up, there it is. I probably should have set my brake bias to be a little bit farther back, too. When I tap the brakes and I tap them using going into these corners, when I tap the brakes, I really lose... The front end, it straightens right out. So I have to just feather it, feather the brake. Normally I'm feathering the gas to get around and not lose control, but I feather the brake so I don't lose it. Hump the brake, I guess it is. That's what you used to do in the old cars without the ABS. We're going to go ahead and run out this uh, first stint. Seems to be pretty uneventful, so we're just going to do the thing, and we will uh, we'll get back to you guys as soon as we are getting lined up to pit. That's going to be its own trip, because I totally forgot to practice that, and it doesn't look like this is going to be a very eventful race as far as um, cautions and stuff go. Seemed pretty clean right off the bat, so we'll see how that all works out. When we get to it.
don't know when it's going to happen, but we're going to have to pit with the first set of trucks that go into pit. Getting lapped wasn't a big deal. I mean, it's the leaders. They're a lot faster than everybody, whatever. It's, uh, it's, we got super tight now. We're so tight now. It's, we can't do anything. I mean, we're five, ten miles an hour slower going around these corners, and everybody that we are, we're in front of is catching us. It's, it's a big deal. You're all clear. I mean, I have no turn even when I start to go in these corners as soon as I let off my gas. There's really no turn into the corner. It's been... Well, as you can see by Schrader and Small, who we were in a battle with Small this whole time, and then... I mean, I get it. My front right is worn. It's toasted, but... We're dropping down. Yeah, that one alone was dropping down at least 10 miles an hour slower around that corner than we've been. 10 miles an hour is such a giant margin can't be doing this and then Hamilton goes ahead bump and run bump and no reason to bump us at that point but okay I'll be sure to remember that later I don't know what else to do I mean I'm gonna we got melons may pass us and then after that we've got eight point something seconds between us and Nilsson but we're just we're in rough shape right now this truck doesn't turn Come off the gas, immediately turn sideways when I come off the gas. But we have no, it doesn't, as soon as I touch the gas, front end sh shoots straight to the right. So that's a big problem. Eight laps left on this tank. Hopefully it's uh, uneventful. We're, we're definitely going to lose to Melons. We didn't do any help for our tires there. Oh, thank goodness. Well, at least we aren't going to lose it to Melons. And the yellow was absolutely not out for us. Trust me, I've had my truck up uh, literally on its side going around the track on the wall and it hasn't called out the yellow. So we'll find out real quick before we go to the pit who was the caution causer so that, you know, I can say it wasn't me. Oh, there it is right there. 215 truck, blown engine. What is happening here? Oh, we're just going to take advantage of that little weird thing going on there. Yes, let's go completely sideways. That's what we want. But we're going so slow now, we'll just sit down on the apron and let everyone we just passed pass us right back. And then some. And then some. And then some. There's, that's not any frustration by me at all. By what just happened there. Come the frick on. This is me. Do not, do not end up in the pit. Oh, jeez. That was going to be horrible. I know, we're so far back right now, but I'd rather have that happen than us have to drive through the pit. We'll get it figured out. Yeah, we're far back. Yeah, I screwed up. Yeah, that could be uh, the whole thing for us. I'm not sure, but we've got, you know, we've got some laps left. And uh, we have the opportunity to catch up to some of these trucks. I don't... Ugh, that was just... That was horrible. Uh, truck is too loose to not be driving at full speed. Yeah, apparently, you know what's really crazy? This is crazy now. I tightened the truck up and we're this loose. How does that work? Well, I'm not going to waste your time watching me drive around a track with no race going on, so I'm going to fast forward, or you're going to watch it sped up, and uh, we'll catch you when we catch them, or a caution, whatever comes first.
Hey! Caution comes out, not really... Not great. I, um, obviously am the cause of the caution that time. I was driving... You know, it's funny, I can't freaking turn around the corner. And yet, somehow, when it came down to it right there, I was able to. Anyway, uh... We gotta fix our truck, and, uh... It'll be our last pit stop, so I'm gonna go hellacious on the wedge to hopefully have a truck that doesn't tighten completely up when we finish race, because that's what's happening. The truck is getting... It's tightening so much up because we're overusing the front right, and I don't know how to fix it, so... And I only have a couple options here, so we're gonna go ahead and try some stuff. It's set. The race is going green. There's the green flag. Um... So good news, they didn't let us start with the rest of the group. We are starting a while back, so that was awesome. We came out of the pit, we had to fix the radiator, it took a little bit of time. We come out of the pit and they're gone. So that's... So, <laughs> Nilsson and Schneider are basically the same amount in front of us that they were before, before this whole thing went to crap anyway. So that's awesome. Looks like Hoff was in a similar situation that we are in. Uh, I did loosen up my truck again, made some tire pressure changes, and, uh... Well, we could be in a lot of trouble anyway with that, so we'll find out. Or we could be just fine, I have no idea, but... That's definitely not how you make yourself just fine. Wow, this is... See, I told you it would happen. We're going to have a race that's just not our race. This is that one. Car high. Clear high. Battling with Hoff. We had a 10th place qualifying, but here was the kicker on this whole thing. It seemed like, oh, how can you qualify in 10th and then sh drive for crap? Well, yeah, we messed up a couple times, but the real reason why this is all happening for us is because we don't have a truck that can drive or we don't have a long run truck is what I'm saying we lose it all after about 15 laps so I loosened up loosen up the front end as much as I could did some tire pressure adjustments hoping that it keeps the truck loose as it naturally tightens up of course that's making it super not fun to drive right now but you know we're <laughs> we're doing what we can to adjust to it it just feels like every time I come off now, like the corner or every time I come off the corner, it feels like I'm going to lose the whole back end of the truck. You don't want that. Well, obviously, you don't want to lose any part of the truck at this point. Driving on the apron time and time again is certainly not going to help anything either. And the fact that Schneider and Nilsson have gotten out to a five and seven second lead respectively is, of course, my favorite part of the whole thing. Hey, remember how we messed up before and then we ended up driving through this whole pack? Here we go again. I knew he was going to come down. Oh, shit. Wow. Well, it was a flat side door. Side to side hit, so it didn't cost us anything but another position. I don't know what to do here. I mean, we could take that position back from Hoff, but it's these really slow trucks that, I mean, they just, look at them, they're staggered so you can't get around them. It's pretty pathetic. So we're going to go around the outside because it's the only way we can go. If the truck will grab, I don't know if that's going to happen. There we go. Grab, grab, grab. See if I can clear these two. There we go. Jeez. All right. Come on, my boy. Don't come down on me. You're, you're smart. Thank you. That'll help us get some gappage between us and Hoff. But now Nilsson is 9 seconds in front of us. Schneider's 6.4. That's... That's our 15th place up there that we're not going to catch, so... Whoa, stop driving on the freaking apron, dumbass. Wow, I can't stop the truck from pulling down onto the apron. I'm not joking. I tried trying not to. I'm almost best better suited to drive the middle of the track and just not be as fast. Like, 
Trying to drive as tight as I can around the track. Oh, I just saw Hoff right on the apron. Half on the apron, half in the corner. No problems. He's got that super, Carlo. super grip. Carlo. Yeah. I don't oh, see us yeah. catching Schneider and Nilsson. We've got 19 to go, so we're going to go ahead and fast forward because this race has been not so fun. We'll catch you at the next action or with a couple to go. Well, I drove as aggressive as I possibly could, and I think I drove the wheels right off the truck, and we've lost anything we had left in us. We got close to Schneider. Nilsson appears to have hit some lap traffic a couple times, so we got kind of close to him as well, but we got nothing here. I mean, we're, we're tight off again. Still there. I just don't think we have enough laps, and I don't think we have enough truck left to do anything to really put us in a good spot here. It's almost like I drove a qualifying setup in the race, you know? It's just something that was going to be really fast to get us in a good spot. It wasn't made to do more than one or two laps around the track at top speed. And with that, we ended up missing out on our opportunity here. I mean, Ratner could block Schneider here a little, and that could help us. With this last lap coming up. I mean, I guess it's it's physically possible, but... It's actually very possible right now, now that I'm watching it happen. Oh, no, no, Ratner! Ratner! Ratner blocks me. I'm pushing him all the way through that corner. What a jerk. All clear. Clear high. How oh, can we hold off Schneider now because we really ran out of it there? Um, yes, we will. Well, I mean, <laughs> unfortunately and fortunately at the same time, we ended up 16th place. Uh, we had 16th place last week at Kansas, and we fight our tails off to get 16th place this week here at New Hampshire. It's a neat track, but I, ha I really have to get my uh, setup tuned in there because after, like I said, after about 20 laps, I completely wear out that front right. We just can't turn it. We went 29 in that stint, and it was, I mean, almost right on the dot that we hit lap, you know, nine left, or well, for us, I think it was more like seven left, and we really had lost it, so... 16th place, though, is not bad. We got four out of our five sponsors again. Top five, Dennis Setzer, John Wood, Bobby Dodder, Lance Norick, and Robert Presley. Hey, we'll walk away from this one with another positive race. $30,183 in the bank. Not enough to get any kind of upgrade, and we won't be able to for probably a while now. We've got uh, maxing out our exhaust yet, and then the big one, which is the final upgrade for the suspension. And that bad boy is $365,000. What a race. New Hampshire. The weather was good at New Hampshire, and it brought some good driving with it. Dennis Setzer took first place on July 19th. Well, with that 16th place finish, it probably should keep us right where we're at in 16th place. And it does. We are slowly losing sight of 15th place. It's not to say that Bickle or Schrader can't have really bad days when we have decent days and it puts us in a better spot. But as it stands right now, that is not the case. 
our next race here in July, Michigan International Speedway, $500,000 up for grabs. I'm looking forward to that one. At this stage, with what we have for a package, we've got a decent chance at another top 10. Like you know, in our sponsorship package with Craftsman, two top 10 puts us in the money. That is $100,000. And that could be the difference between starting the season with a maxed out truck for season two and starting the season with a truck that can't compete. I mean, maybe that's a bit dramatic. I don't know how things are going to go over the next handful of races that we've got left here. It is only July, end of July, and we race through November. So who knows? But uh, that is going to do it for this episode, folks. I do hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, you know, I never ask for it. But if you could go ahead, show the love, hit that like button for me. I would appreciate it, and as always, and until next time, you take care.